to a storytelling video. My name is Arani and I'm an early childhood educator here at Early On at Luminous Community Services. In today's storytelling video, we'll be reading the story, I Can Do It Myself by Diane Adams and illustrated by Nancy Hayashi. Once we're done reading the book together, parents and caregivers stay tuned so you can learn about strategies and helpful ways to promote and foster independence, and self-help skills with your children at home. Are you ready? Let's get started. I Can Do It Myself, written by Diane Adams and illustrated by Nancy Hayashi. Emily Pearl is a very big girl. She can pour her own juice and tie her own shoes. She can feed her cat Fred and her goldfish Ted too. And if for just one second her mom tries to help, Emily says, I can do it myself. She can make her own bed and peanut butter her bread and play the trombone while she stands on her head. And if for just one second her mom tries to help, Emily says, I can do it myself. She can brush her own teeth. She can curl her own hair. She can paint her own pictures of rabbits and bears. And if for just one second her mom tries to help, Emily says, I can do it myself. Emily Pearl is a very big girl. She can fold her own clothes and she can clean her own room. She can sweep up her crumbs with a long-handled broom. And if just for one second her mom tries to help, Emily says, I can do it myself. She can wash her own face and she can blow her own nose. She can scrub herself clean from her head to her toes. And if for just one second her mom tries to help, Emily says, I can do it myself. But at bedtime when shadows creep over the wall, Emily Pearl feels a teeny bit small. Will you read me a story and hug me real tight? Will you find my bare binky and keep on the light? Now Emily knows she can do this herself but sometimes it's nice to let someone else. The end. After reading the story with your child, there's many great morals and learnings that come from the book. You can talk about Emily Pearl and all that she has, can do by herself, but you can also point out sometimes it's okay to need help and it's okay to ask for help if you need. Some great ways to foster independence and self-help skills at home are by allowing your child to have choices. Allow your child to pick out what they want to wear for the day. Maybe giving them two choices and allowing them to pick one of the two and commenting on the fact that they were able to cho make their choice for what they would like to wear today. Such as, wow, you picked out a great outfit for today. Or wow, you chose this outfit all by yourself. By doing this, you're giving them choices to help them make a decision on their own. And that's very important for children to be able to make a decision by themselves. So by offering two choices, you can allow your child to pick one of the two, and that way they are responsible for the decision that they have made. And they will feel a sense of responsibility and a sense of independence because they were able to pick out their outfit on their own. This can be done for many other parts of the day, such as choosing what story to read before bed or choosing what snack to have between two different choices. But always make sure that you're not offering too many choices or else this can be overwhelming for a child. You could always talk about the things that you do at home and the things that your child does at home that they can do by themselves and also point out the things that they need help with. For example, I can put away my toys by myself, but sometimes I need a little bit of help to know where the toys go. And that's okay to mention the positives 
and the things that you still need to work on. Also remember to always highlight their accomplishments. If your child did a great job putting away their toys by themselves today, make sure you highlight and you praise them for that. You can do this by saying, I'm so proud of you, you put away all your toys by yourself. Or you can say, I noticed you tidied up all by yourself today, great job. And these are very easy and simple ways to highlight independence that your child is already experiencing, but to also point out that these are great behaviors and this is what's expected of them. Another great activity that you can do with your child is to list out the things that they can do by themselves and the things that they want to learn how to do by themselves. And you can also role model and do this with your child so they can also see that even adults can't do everything by themselves and that it's, it's okay if they don't know how to do something on their own yet. Start with simple tasks at home and work your way up to bigger tasks with your child. For example, you can start by tidying up toys after, when, after they're done playing with them or setting up the table before dinner or asking them to help put away their dishes after they're done eating. These are all very simple tasks that you can do with your child at home to gain self-help skills. Always remember to allow for your child to have opportunity to foster independence and to gain self-help skills. You want to make sure we don't do everything for the children because then they'll never have the opportunity to learn how to do so on their own. Always provide opportunity and wait and be patient as sometimes it will take longer than others.